Wow. So looks like uh, a lot of waste is still ending up in the landfill, even though it appears like waste management is doing a pretty good job of handling the volume. Now, Rick, you are an expert at uh, waste management. So I was hoping Sorry. that you might be able to set the context for us around waste. What really is waste? How would you define it? I think Willem McDonough answered it best for me was uh, waste is a function of poor design. And uh, I think the other, the other piece as well is one of the flaws of our brilliant market-based economy system is that that poor design and the the effects of the poor design are allowed to go out into the environment without the producer um, having to account for it. So they become externalities and so then you can put that material either into the air or into the water and not have a responsibility for, um, or not have an economic responsibility and so it doesn't drive you back to a good design. Mm -hmm. Now mm -hmm. I have friends and family all over the country, actually all over the world, mm -hmm. and what, what I've noticed is that in many parts of the country we don't even have, or they don't even have, decent recycling mm -hmm. programs whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So what's the deal with that and why is it important to recycle? Well, one, I, one of the first things about recycling is it certainly em employs more people than uh, you know sending the material to the landfill. We're missing a lot of opportunities. There's you know, energy is saved and pollution is reduced and all of those things when we get that material back into the stream of commerce and push it back so that producers can use that material and there's a lot of it being used. Steel, of course, is, you know, long time in recycling forever, paper forever and, and now plastics and a lot of these materials have markets to get them back into production. For Oregon, um, you know, we took in 1983, the Oregon legislature passed some rules that said, let's, uh, we're going to, all of those things, we're going to protect the uh, resources of the state and capture, try to capture some of those externalities and set up a legislative framework that allows recycling in this state to be a little more successful, I think, than in others. Than, than other states. Yeah, just yeah. 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 So, Greg, let's talk a little bit about e-waste. I have a pile of electronics in my house, just but I, I don't know what to do with them. So how does it work? One of the beauties about the e-cycle law that the <clears throat> lawmakers actually built it uh, for the simplistic, simplistic implementation for consumers. It is so simple to utilize this. As a consumer, you can bring a television, a computer monitor, a laptop, or a desktop computer to one of about 250 recycle centers throughout the state. Is one of them your home? Is that uh, where I would take this? Pretty much so, because I think I live there. Okay. Uh, All right. <laughs> and that uh, it's real easy to find these locations by simply going to the DEQ website okay. on the Oregon eCycles. Just simply click, type in your uh, zip code, and up comes a list of uh, approved collection points. Those collection points then simply send the material to an authorized processing center, which we're, we are one of those. Okay. Okay, great. And, and what are the benefits? So, you know, I drop it off at your home, like I said, <laughs> and, and then what happens to, you know, what, why is that better than going into the landfill? Uh, basically, there's quite a few different reasons why you don't want to um, put it into a landfill or drop it off at the local wherever and mm -hmm. you don't know where the material is going to. First of all, the space it takes up in the landfill, plus there are some toxins that are in the electronic waste material. Uh, and eventually that does break down in the landfills. However, another one of the reasons is e-waste itself, electronic waste, is a great source of raw materials. Right. For yeah. example, for the materials that are recovered out of one ton of computer um, waste material, it offsets 17 tons of mining of raw ore. Wow. Oh, wow. That same amount wow. of material from one ton to 17 tons of an impact on the earth. Right, right. Not just the impact, but the carbon footprint. Right, right. So essentially, what we're doing is not only recycling, but it's a way of mining as well. Right. Because not only do we recover aluminum, steel, tin, plastics, mm -hmm. but also precious metals, gold, silver, palladium, these type of things. Not a great amount of it, but it all goes into a very large pile of recoverable materials that simply go right back into manufacturing. Okay. And what's, so what are we supposed to do, like with, you, know, you go through a cell phone these days, like one every year or two, so when this 
reaches its end of life for me. Um, what do I do with it? Do I put it in a drawer at home again and just let it sit there? Or where can I take it? What can I do with it? Again, you can contact the DEQ website. Okay. They will refer you to recyclers in your area that can recycle these materials in an appropriate manner. But again, I want to emphasize it will be fee-based. So I'll have to pay to have this recycled. It'll be a very nominal right. fee. Okay.